I look forward to meeting and discussing specialized plans for your business and personal needs as Latchman Insurance Brokers has provided since 1957. We are at the launch of HIV AIDS Awareness Week here in Barrie, uh, an important week to raise awareness about what it means to live with HIV in 2019. And this is what HIV in 2019 looks like. Um, I like to think I'm fairly healthy for a 53-year-old cisgendered gay white man. And uh, I take one, one pill a day and that keeps me healthy. And not only does it keep me healthy, but it keeps the virus suppressed in my bloodstream, which means I cannot transmit HIV, which keeps me healthy and keeps my husband healthy. We have the tools to end the epidemic. There's a movement called U equals U, undetectable equals untransmittable, which means folks on effective treatment can attain, attain a suppressed viral load and therefore the virus is untransmittable. What we need though is the political will to ensure that access to medication for all folks living with HIV becomes a reality so that we can end this epidemic, okay? We say U equals U, but we talk about it. thank you. We talk about a third U as well, which is universal access to treatment and care for all. In Canada right now, the last statistics, which are 2016, roughly 63,000 folks in Canada living with HIV. Of those 63,000, a little over 9,000 are unaware of that fact. So testing is extremely important. And taking away the stigma around what it means to live with HIV is what gets folks tested and takes away that fear so that people can feel confident getting tested means they will be healthy. And HIV can live in, a, in an individual system for up to 10 years before we actually even realize that we are living with HIV. Our second annual Red Scout Gala, November 29, 2019 at the Barry Country Club. Fabulous. More people than last year. Raised a lot of money in our silent auction and in our 50-50 draw and great allies. Barry Police Services were here. Tonight it is a great celebration and the Barry Police Service are very honored to be participating in the Red Scarf Gala for the Gilbert Center. We had a full table tonight of eight and this is just a small sampling of officers that participate in partnership with the Gilbert Center on awareness and training and ensuring that those in the community that need the support and assistance that we're able to veer them in the right direction to the Gilbert Center. We, we do have some individuals here tonight that um, are part of the community. I've been on the board since um, April, May last year. Yeah. Um, I relocated from Toronto where I've been living for 30 years. I'm the secretary of the board. Like I said in there earlier tonight, I've been HIV positive for over 30 years. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm on the board as well as treasurer. And I'm involved with the Gilbert because it first started off as the ACSC, which is the AIDS Committee of Simcoe County. But they started getting involved in more and more community, just branching out everywhere. And it was decided to rename um, the ACSC to the Gilbert Center so that it could reflect everything that is being done. And it's a real pleasure and a privilege to be a part of an institution like that that is doing so much for the community. The Gilbert Center um, has program and support services for youth, yes. for seniors, yes. for parents and friends. Thank you so much. And you know, there's, there's a really big trans community in Simcoe County. And in my lifetime uh, as a gay man, I've seen us get all of our rights, but the trans community doesn't have all of theirs. And that's what we have to fight for now. And we're still working on that. And we are still plotting away and we will get there eventually. We've been to four different uh, cities across the county hanging, uh, hanging red scarves all week to raise awareness around uh, HIV and AIDS and folks living with HIV in Simcoe County. That's been fantastic. We have uh, put up 711 scarves across the county this year, which is uh, the most we've put up in any year. This is the uh, fifth year that we've been part of the, uh, the Red Scarf campaign and uh, everything culminates today in World AIDS Day, December 1st. This is the 31st World AIDS Day. It began in 1988 and is actually the, the very first World Health Day. Um, we have a lot of um, 
commemorative days around different health issues now, but um, HIV AIDS was the uh, the first illness that uh, sort of kicked off that uh, um, that that theme across the world. So. Um, I found out May 4th, 2017 that I was HIV positive. I was going through a really bad divorce at the time and he got diagnosed and he was really, really ill. So I was diagnosed, I made an appointment with my local doctor, my family physician, and from there they immediately, well, he talks about uh, all the different issues, how to deal with um, my stress, my uh, depression, like everything just immediately crashed in my world. Um, and I was sent immediately to St. Mike's within three weeks, I think it was. I had an appointment at St. Mike's. I had my own dietitian, my own pharmacist, my own social worker, and an HIV specialist. So I was able to access pretty much any service I felt I needed, and I did at the time I talked into every single one of them. As you look in awe, as you look in awe at a mighty forest and its grand majesty, remember me. As you look upon a flower and admire its simplicity, remember me. Remember me in your heart, your thoughts, your memories of the times we loved, the times we cried, the times we fought, the times we laughed. For if you always think of me, I will never be gone.